If you haven't heard, the Russian media is saying that the United States has used a bioweapon on China. And this Wuhan coronavirus that everyone's talking about was done by the United States government in order to kill people. It's a bioweapon. And so if you think being ready for World War III isn't being president, isn't, isn't no, oh no, being president is, it's, it's knowing how to shake hands with people properly. Which I am good at shaking hands. I learned how to do that in middle school. But if you don't think that World War III is, a, is, is understanding technology, then you're freaking nuts. So no matter what you think about who is, like, how much doubt do I have that I, I, I am more ready for World War III than any candidate? None. Why? Because I understand, like, the reason I studied machine learning is because I wanted to understand our technology. Because I was so mind blown by this technology that like I, I got so into AI and I didn't get as much into biology because I already understood some neuroscience, but I got so hardcore into computers and that's one of the reasons that I have, I, I, I understand so much stuff. But what, what do I really understand? Everything I think, Who, who's seen my code? Everything is private, scoped to like that directory. Like, I, I, I limit access as much as possible to everything. And so, um, like, I, I am all about security. And so, what you have to understand is that military technology depends on telecommunications more than ever. You say, well, during, during the Civil War, it wasn't that big of a deal if they couldn't communicate and, and figure out where the enemy is and figure out where to set up an ambush. Didn't matter at all during Civil War because communications were so simple. They just use telegrams, but well, and, and, and which brings up the issue of supply chain logistics. <laughs> Who gave an award to the military's supply chain logistics people? Because I think our, our military is so impressive in our ability to write to fight a foreign war. Me, because I understand that sort of thing. But all I'm saying is the like the fact that every single one of our candidates doesn't understand basic computer stuff. Maybe they understand the difference between a, a virus, a worm, well, a worm, a Trojan, and what's, I don't know, I don't even know, <laughs> I don't know what you call them all. Um, there, are, there are a lot of different types of hacks, but um, like I understand that like, um, that, that like you guys can use the basic words, but like, can you understand? And can you, can you really communicate about telecommunications. And so, like, I, I don't know how to get into the American people's heads that this is a dangerous time to be alive and the last thing you want is a president that isn't going to be ready on day one from a military technology perspective. And it's like, well, you, you don't have top secret security clearance. You haven't been working for the defense contractors. You don't fully understand radars and stuff like that which I feel like they still follow the same sort of nature of the universe, the same physical world. Um, but I, you're right, I don't. But I do understand telecommunications and I do understand military technology and I do understand the history of military. And I do, uh, there's, there's no doubt in my mind that other than maybe Pete Buttigieg who could surprise me with his ability to hack people because this, because McKinsey and company is, are they... Uh, an actual super spy organization that's like a private spy organization that represents a bunch of corporate interests. I, I don't know. They're consultants. But are, are they definitely associated with... It, it's really confusing how he got picked out of like nowhere when he's such a minor mayor. He must. They must be pretty influential. So maybe Pete Buttigieg actually understands communications better than I realized. That's the only person that might understand communications. But all I'm saying is you don't understand how dangerous of a situation the world's in. And then you're just, well, I want someone who's going to keep things exactly the way they are. Things don't stay the way they are. Things change. And when they're changing, you need someone that knows how to fight. And you like, because... When, it, when are you most likely to get hacked? When you're changing something. When you're updating something. When you're migrating your server. When, when, you're, when, you're, update, when you're plugging into your operating system. Like when you're installing a new operating, that's when you're going to get hacked. But um, 
it's it, it's uh, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about like the government and the people that are running. I don't think they're military leaders, and I do think like as weird as it sounds, as young as I am, I am a military leader. That's who I am deep down in my soul. I mean, I'm not a computer nerd. I mean, I, I do speak computer, which you don't understand how important it is to speak computer if you are in a World War III situation and you are the leader. Because if you're making decisions and you don't understand the decision you're making, you're not really making a good decision or you might make a bad decision. So all I'm saying is, like, you need to, like, I understand. I, I might get confused about the protocol, but I understand. I also understand that I got hacked and I'm like, dude, how am I going to deal with this hack now? I know I got to go bring in my ISP and I got to go install a new router and I got to go wipe all our operating systems. And it's like, F, it totally kicked my ass. And that's the thing. Everyone gets their ass kicked. And it's, it's, it, sometimes it's good because it teaches people about getting hacked.